M1 Global presents Challenge 71. Представляем вашему вниманию трехраундовый супербой в промежуточной весовой категории до 80 килограммов. Сейчас получилось так, что победил двух соперников, третий на моем пути. Если я его сделаю, то там будет рукой подать до титула. Но пока на моем пути опытная бразильская стена. Если я его пройду, я буду понимать, чего я стою. Он умеет бороться, он в партере очень опасен, бьет ногами, руками. Carlosinho, atleta brasileiro, vim aqui para fazer uma grande luta aqui com meu adversário, meu oponente, o Serguei. É, andei olhando algumas lutas dele e acredito que vai ser um bom combate. Eu начинал sua подготовку за три месяца к этому бою. Начинал с силовых упражнений, уделял ему очень много внимания железу. Потом ездил в братский клуб Краснодар, Кузня. Там меня ребята хорошо встретили, мы там раскидывались, боролись. И конец подготовки в месяц я проводил в своем любимом клубе в Санкт-Петербурге, в Сечи. С моими тренерами уделили акцент ударной технике, больше били, больше работали ногами, руками. Бокс уделял очень много времени. И, конечно же, уходов от пазера, поскольку он очень цепкий. У меня лута по моему оппоненту. Я не пишу вашему лута дуризма. Спасибо, что вы были готовы, потому что я вам помогу нокаутировать. Александра, ты приехал ко мне домой за моей головой, но я отправлю твою по почте. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 Challenge catchweight bout of 80 kilograms. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 37 years old. He weighed in at 79.5 kilograms. He stands 182 centimeters tall and has an impressive record of 33 wins, 11 losses with one draw. He is Chuto Brazil and Brazilian King Fighter Champion from Brazil, Carlos Alexander Pereira. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 26 years old. He weighed in at 80 kilograms. He stands 183 centimeters tall and has a professional record of eight wins with only one loss. He is champion of the city in kickboxing and champion of the city in MMA. From St. Petersburg, Sergei Romanov. Your referee for this bout, Vajislav Kishelov. Fighter, center. Okay. 
No more rules. Three round, five minutes. Listen to my comments every time. Stay active all the time, okay? Shake hand. Back your car. Somewhat reluctant touching of the gloves, especially from that man, the Brazilian Carlos Alexandre Pereira. This is the catch weight of 80 kilograms. Carlos Alexandre Pereira versus Sergei Romanov, round number one. Well, you can hear the crowd. All for the guy from St. Petersburg, Sergei Romanov. But he had his work cut out for him. The Brazilian has a fantastic record. Orange trunks for Pereira, white trunks for Romanov. Inside for Pereira, steps forward, lands the outside kick. Romanov walks through it. Right handed from the Brazilian Pereira. Got a right hand. Pereira looking quite cool, looking calm and collected. Not being the, the local favorite, he seems to be nice and calm. Not wishing anything. Oh, nice shot there by Romanov. The St. Nice. Petersburg, Russia crowd here at Ice Palace getting behind Romanov, fighting in his home country as well as his home city. Yeah, missing that right hand to the body. Machine early on, Pereira being second in the exchange. Oh, but nice right hand there by Romanov. Landing with the counters, but not there. Oh, got the counter that time, though, Sean. Romanov took one step forward. He got countered with the right hand. But no takedown attempts this far. Pereira first in that exchange and landing. So Romanov trying to establish the jab, then the outside kick. Just a shrug from Pereira. Switch kick to the body. That was effective. They are kind of loading up a little bit now. Yeah, he just takes a breath. He needs to recompose. Get caught. Romanov very tellingly did not dive into the ground. Very comfortable, at least at this stage of the fight, standing with Carlos Alexandre Pereira. And again, the St. Petersburg crowd getting behind. They're going him. crazy, Sean. I can only imagine what it's going to be like when he wins, if he wins. Outstanding crowd, outstanding atmosphere. Russian fight crowds are always, and I mean always, fantastic. The only thing I worry about Pereira when he goes backwards, he's still got his chin up in the air. Not so bad when he's coming forward, when he goes backwards, he lifts his head up slightly. Not what you want when you've got a big strike like Romanov coming for you. Pereira coming to the inside. Just missing with that fadeaway right hook. And you see Machine Romanov working off of the left jab. Oh, then the right hand. Two, 10 remaining, round number one. Fight at the catch weight of 80 kilograms. Well, nice body shot by Pereira with power. Pereira starting the work to the inside. There's the separation from Romanov. Yeah, Pereira trying to initiate the clinch. Maybe he's having second thoughts, trying to stand with Romanov. Romanov talked about pre-fight. Staying on the outside, using the kicks at range. It's a powerful striking game, but from the outside. Oh, the nice spin and box fist. Well, Pereira said no, but that's only a sign that he did get tagged. And it bounces the step now of Romanov. Lands that outside kick. A shake of the head no from Pereira. His own outside kick. Two very technical, tactical strikers here in round number one. I think Romanov, if he comes forward but throws an overhand right, the way that Pereira kicks his chin up, he might catch him. Maybe a tactic to try. Superman punch for Romanov, misses the mark, takes with the body kick. 50 seconds remaining round number one. Oh, nice job. Throws the hand down. To the inside, Pereira takes the knee as he moves forward, and another. 
Ramadov. And again, you see Romanov wants that separation, wants that space. Yeah, he's trying to separate Sean. Wants the distance. He's throwing that right hand nice and straight down the pipe. I just feel a nice little overhand to go over the top of the guard there of Pereira. May catch him on the chin. Pereira using counter striking effectively. Romano using outside striking effectively. Final seconds, round number one. There is the bell. Well, a great round by both guys. Pereira done really well, really well to start off with. We've seen the tire a little bit at the end. A little bit lacks a daisy near the end, and Romanov came forward, trying to catch him with the one-two down the middle. Reminder online, M1Global.tv. I mean, there's Pereira just throwing a right hand of his own. The body kicks were good, the hands were good, but just near the end of the round is when he started to back off. But I think taking this round, Sean, I think Romanov just slightly edged it, just slightly edged it for a 10-9. But the striking of Pereira is, is quite crisp, crisp. He's doing really well. The only, the only worry I have with Pereira is the way he backs off. When he backs off, his chin just comes up slightly. Get multiple ways to follow us online, including Twitter and Snapchat. Gene, how did you see round number one? Well, I saw it as a 10-9 to Romanov. If I was in Romanov's corner, I would be saying, push him backwards slightly, then throw the overhand right. The overhand right will go over the top of his guard and hit him in the chin. Because he's throwing the straight right down the pipe, but he's catching the guard on the way through. Vyacheslav Kiselev, the referee, wiping off the excess water off the back of Carlos Alexandre Padera. We're now ready for round number two. And the crowd support materializes for Sergei Romanov. Romanov trying to work off the jab, missing the one-two. Spinning back kick. Oh, that could have been a gift there for Pereira if he stayed on his canvas. He's done well here, back to his feet to Romanov. Nice spinning back kick there by Pereira. That landed to the body. He's still in this fight, there's no doubt about it. Pereira, tearing away that head kick attempt. Catching that kick, moving to the inside. Oh, Romanov doing a good job of spoiling that clinch. And Romanov working off the jab outside kick from Pereira. Straight punches. Yeah, he's just, he's just, he's about an inch away from his target. He just needs to step in a little bit more to Romanov. Left hand oh, on the inside. On the... Oh, oh he gets it, he taps him. Pereira knows what's in trouble. He's the left hand in a close to rock. Pereira definitely rocked on the right hand. Without a doubt, he was rocked. It's that chin, leaves that chin up. When he goes backwards, another big right hand from Romanov. This is his absolute ideal range, Sergei Romanov. Landing long straight punches. This could be the beginning of the end. Another clubbing right in the left hand. Well, he's doing the right thing, Sean. He's not loading up, he's not throwing one punch. He's still technically boxing him. Which is a good thing to do against a guy that's rocked. Sometimes you can throw big one-shot punches, miss with every one of them and burn yourself out. Romanov definitely establishing his striking here in round number two. He is doing it from his range, on the outside. No, no, no. The machine of Pereira wants to come to the inside. Protection of the eye poke. Called by Kiselev. Well, to be honest, that's a, it's a blessing in disguise for Pereira. He can now get the head clear, get the cobwebs out. The doctor called in. Pereira has five minutes to recover on that eye poke. This is not one Ramanov wants. The head could still be cloudy. It's now going to be clear. I mean, sure, he doesn't want an eye poke, but he's got enough time to let his eye clear and his head.
from the replay, and as we saw it live, it certainly appeared unintentional. High pokes, regardless of the country, regardless of the promotion, continue to play great Look here, look here. And unfortunately, that's what the gloves that we have. It's, it's hard, not the high poke, to be honest, and it's hard to keep your fist no problem. constantly clenched, especially when someone's trying Rob you in a clinched position. He doesn't want to continue. It looks as though the doctor wants to stop the fight. No and way. Pereira's corner emphatically saying we need to continue. See, holding up the finger. You're fine. The doctor's obviously given him a test with how many fingers am I holding up, and he said it wrong. Well, I think it's going to go ahead, Sean. And will the protestations the Brazilian corner of Carlos Alexander Pereira seemed to have swayed the doctor and appeared he was going to stop the fight? Well, if you can't see the peripheral vision, that right hand is going to be a disaster if it hits him in the face. The time in round number two resumes. Romanov opened with a deep kick, then the outside kick didn't land flush. A hand from Romanov. See Pereira now tries to turn up the intensity. Oh, nice knee. Cross the halfway line of this fight. Well, Pereira is blinking with that eye, but he seems to be striking okay. Caught that leg all right on the right hand side, so on the left hand side, sorry. So he's obviously saw the kick coming. Well, there's no doubt that Pereira wants this on the canvas. Instead, it's the outside oh, Romanov to take it down for Sergei Romanov. Into side control. He's got the arm trapped as well there. He's got the left arm trapped between his legs. The crucifix position is Sergei Romanov. Oh, pulls guard nicely. Pereira looking for the up kick. Romano pulls back, allows Pereira to stand. Oh! I think that bounced off his chest. Romano more and more effective with the left jab as this fight progresses. Oh, that level again. He went for the uppercut did Pereira and got tagged. Inside knee, left hook, chest misses from Romano. Pereira now finding himself a very defensive fighter. Nothing on that right hand to the body from the Brazilian Carlos Alexandre Pereira. Romano seizing control of this fight. Pereira has his mouth wide open. Not a, not a wise thing to do when you're getting tagged with big shots. Bouncing the step of Romano, feeling very good about things now. 45 seconds remaining, round number two. Romano back to the inside and pulls out. Blinking again is Pereira. This is the range, the ideal range of Sergei Romanov. Now steps to the inside. Romanov's going to break free. Oh, it's Pereira that fires the knee back. There we go, break free, throws the shots. And can you see Romanov pulling out? Sucking this fight to the center of the M1 ring. It's distance that Romanov wants. It's distance that he's getting. Gets this on the last minute back fist. Knee for Pereira. Left hand just after the bell. Yes. We will go to the dawn just after. It was in midair. He tagged him, but what a great round there by Romanov. It's not when the punch lands at the end of the round, it's when the action of the punch or any strike starts. And it's this, the hand speed, the power. Just slightly missing on a few of the shots, just about an inch short. There's the eye poke. It was the left hand. For Romanov, he was just an inch short, just before he wobbled him, just before he actually made Pereira go weak at the knees. And there we go with a big right hand. That was perfectly timed. Wobbled a little bit there also. Yeah, just as he threw the uppercut, that was the second big punch. 
The ringside physician again in the corner of Carlos Alexandre Pereira. He leaves the corner. We are moving to the third and final round of this outstanding fight. The catch weight of 80 kilograms. A clear step up in competition for Sergey Romanov and through 10 minutes machine he has looked very good. No doubt on your scorecard. Well, to be honest, that, that was a clear win for Romanov in the second round. He did rock Pereira twice, but I still give it a 10-9. If he put him on the canvas and nearly finished it, maybe a 10-8, but Pereira kept standing, so 10-9 for that one also. Fully agreed for me. It's a clear cut 10-9, but not enough for a 10-8. Pereira again blinking with that eye. Now pawing at that left eye. You just wonder how much his vision is actually blocked because he is taking punishment now. Romanov continues to work that left jab. Yeah, Pereira pawing at his eye. Well, straight Romanov has Rom 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 gotten more success with a combination of punches than what he is with singles. Maybe he should throw three and four at a time. Because after the one, two, he's getting caught with the third and the fourth. See Romanov. As Pereira trapped in the corner, but not stepping to the inside. Continuing to climb in spaces, Sergei Romanov. Effective with those straight punches. Throwing the ones and the one two. Oh, nice. 35 remaining third and final round. Well, Pereira is a warrior. He's had an eye poke. He's had his head rocked from one side of the ring to the other, but he's still there. He's still in front of him, he's still coming back. Awkward blinks out of the left eye of Pereira, and he's pawing at both eyes. I poke his side, he's also taking a lot of punches to the face. You've got to give him credit for standing still, Sean. Oh, nice left hook. Pereira, an extremely accomplished veteran again. Yeah, Romanov mistimed that one. Oh, wow! Clubby right hand from Pereira. Romanov still standing. I don't know how, but that was clean. Yeah. Best offensive sequence for the Brazilian Carlos Alexandre Pereira since round number one. Well, it might have given him a little bit of a boost. For the hip toss, throws Romanov. So we talked about it at the top of this broadcast, Pereira, despite being a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, throughout his short MMA career machine. Likes to use his jiu-jitsu defensively, and again it's Romano who hits the takedown into side control. Yeah, but uh, uh, not, not only is he tight, not only is he being rocked, he's, he's caught in side control. It's not a great favorite of uh, BJJ. They prefer to have you in guard or top position. He's working the underhook, he's going to try and escape. Well, he went belly down, he's looking not to have his back taken there. You see Romano only wants to spend so much time on the ground, walks away, allows Pereira to stand. Went 15 remaining in this fight. Oh, beautiful. On the knee to follow up. Good left hand by Romano. Pereira's still there, he's still in front of him. Oh, and again with a right hand. Huge right hand. Oh, oh, Pereira. The Brazilian's hands are low, he backs off. Well, he's fighting an instinct. And he's in the big shot. Still he fights on. Romano sends him to the finish line. Final minute of the 
this fight. Pereira is waving him on. What is this guy made of? Showing incredible heart, incredible tenacity. Romano showing incredible striking skill. Well, the heart of a lion for Pereira. Pereira now cut outside of his left brow. Blood streaming down his face. Final seconds of the fight. Both fighters continuing to throw. That's the end, and that was outstanding. An extremely hard fought 15 minutes in three rounds. We now await the tallying of the three judges scoring cage side. Carlos Alexander Pereira, all class. Pay respect to the St. Petersburg crowd and to his opponent, Sergey Romanov. Romanov. Acknowledging his home city crowd here in St. Petersburg. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision in favor of your winner from St. Petersburg, Sergey Romanov. Sergey Romanov now 10 and 1 in his Sergei OMMA Romanov, career. Sergey Romanov, San Petersburg! That is by far the biggest and most impressive victory for Sergey Romanov. He defeats the Carlos Alexander Pereira by unanimous decision. Serge, in just a few words, today you couldn't win. I know how you felt yesterday, how you were worried about the fight. More than 700 people are here today to support Sergey Romanov. Guys, are you here? Ну что скажешь, Сереж? На самом деле хочу поблагодарить всех работников Иман Глобал за то, что дают мне возможность драться так высоко. Я стараюсь, надеюсь, обрадую их ожидания. Поблагодарить всех, кто пришел поддержать меня. И не отказываюсь от слова своих. Поддерживайте наш клуб. Нам важно. Я не один здесь буду. Говорил уже. Спасибо большое вам. Спасибо моим тренерам. Моей семье всем привет, кто болел за меня. Бой оказался непростым, что скажешь по поводу твоего соперника. Вам бой понравился? <звы> ну, я когда не доканчиваю досрочно, я всегда расстраиваюсь. Поэтому я немножко расстроен, посмотрю. Я не выполнил свой план, не нокаутировал, как обещал. Соответственно, буду работать еще. Спасибо. Спасибо, Сереж. Ну что скажешь молодежи, которая до сих пор дерется на улицах? Приходите в зал, ребят, занимайтесь спортом. Это круто. Надо быть сильными. Надо, чтобы окружение вокруг вас было сильным. Тогда вся страна, весь Санкт-Петербург будет сильные спортивные ребята. Мы столица единоборств, и мы будем это доказывать. Я обещаю, ребята мне помогут. Сергей Романов, Петербург, Россия!